You, when you watch the way you play and the way you finish, you, you pick up the basketball, you're in the paint, you're making your move, somebody goes right, you go left. They go left, you go right. You have an ability <laughs> to get around them. You can finish. You, you can see the defender in front of you, the one that's coming. You're able to finish. How does one practice that? that you, you, you know, when you put in all this time and all this work and you have such incredible footwork and you're able to finish, you know, falling away, flipping it up, a high off the glass – how do you possibly practice all of that, Franz? Well, obviously, I didn't like, I didn't do that stuff just the first time I picked up a basketball. I think, right, right. I think the biggest thing is having having the basics right and um, doing those, uh, being able to do those, just um, you know, kind of in your sleep and having those habits right. And then nowadays, um, you know, we do a lot of random stuff where a coach throws me a ball and like in the last second he gives me a pointer of how I should finish, if it's high, if it's with the left hand, off two feet. Um, so different stuff like that to kind of simulate what happens in the game where you adjust in the last second. Um, so I would say we, we do a lot of a lot of those kind of awkward finishes maybe that, that um, I sometimes do in the game. Um, but I, honestly, a big part of my game is also focusing on, um, you know, those moments where it's maybe good to go through a defender um, I think it's it's cool to to play with someone like Paolo who um, you know has that down in, in the second year already. You know, getting to the free throw line, finding contact to create angles and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's how I look at it. Um, I think those those finishes are super cool, but sometimes the best thing is to create a better angle by um, not just going around people, by going going through the defender.